Hi guys, thank you so much for being here. My name is Danish and I am here to talk to you about how to create a table and also insert multiple rows and single row and also talking about foreign key and primary key. So first of all, let's create a database because we are going to create our table. So without creating a database, we cannot do this. So create database and then the name of the da database. I'm gonna uh, name it bookstores and create this. And let's refresh this. And right now I have bookstores table. And then I'm going to use my table. So without activate the uh, database you've created, you're still working on the previous database. So to activate that, use and type book stores and emphasize this and execute this. So right now we are in our uh, database. So get rid of this and I'm going to create my schema after that. So without create without creating a schema, don't jump into table. That's what I recommend you to do. So lab uh, and then name, the name of the library uh, schema create a schema and get rid of this right now I have two tables and I'm going to check about those uh, things so first of all I have four columns book ID book name author of the book and I also publish that so what exactly uh, does uh, identity and primary key uh, represent so first of all integer means that i just want it to be number not flow just number like one two or three that can be also minus minus one minus two minus three negative positive so but i'm going to start it from one identity one comma one means that i just want to start it from one and increment it by just one so if you type here 10 and also five it's gonna start uh, from 10 and it will increment it by just five 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and so on. But I'm going to leave it as default. So primary key means that uh, it, you just want your row to be uniquely uh, and uh, just one, uh, just one number. So it's 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 actually a column or a set of columns that uniquely uh, identifies a row in a table. So uh, just put it this way, if you have ID card and you just have that ID card, you know, because that's, that ID card identifies you. So you're the only person that has that ID card. So you can think about primary key, just, uh, you know, just see it as an as a ID card. So it represents just one book ID. So book ID in Taju, identity one comma one and primary key. And varchar, this is also a data type. And varchar means that you just want to, you know, put your data and like names and addresses. And in the double quotes, you have to put double quotes in the uh, data. And then after that, I have author of the book, also varchar255, published at small, small int. And small int means that just small number because I'm going to just insert years into publish at columns. columns. So, Let's insert first, uh, first um, parent in, into first table. So f let's create this, and I created this. So first of all, if you want to insert many rows into library.books table, you need to type insert into library.books, and after that, the name of the column and the name of the columns. So book ID, book name, author of the book, and published at. And after that, you will put your data. It, this is my uh, this is my book ID, book name, author of the book, and also published at 1988. So if you want to uh, insert multiple rows, you need to type uh, uh, rows in the parentheses and then separate them with just comma, and that's the way of inserting multiple color multiple rows. So if you want to insert this. Of course, you will you will face an error. Why? Because you just you know, ident identified it just one by one. 
but you just inserted your your primary key column so you cannot do this you're not allowed to do that so if you want to be allowed to do that you need to make just one thing which is going to be set identity insert library that books on y because if you as i as i uh, wrote here if you want to insert rows on your own instead of making it done by microsoft sql server just using this set identity insert library dot books on because you're going to open it so because you are not allowed so you're going to make yourself allowed to do that and finally just set this up because uh, you don't want to see any error after that so let's just emphasize this and execute this and as you can see select asterisk from library dot books let's uh, run this execute this and you'll see you have seven seven rows so select asterisk means that you want to just see all columns let's just get rid of this and just type book and id and execute this and as you can see you just have book uh, id or you just uh, want to see the other column book id and book name so execute this as you can see you have book id book name and so but i'm going to leave it as default asterisk because i want to see all columns so all columns so right now we have all columns here so let's jump into another table which is going to be our uh, child table so what is child table exactly so child table actually means that i have a reference in my child table so i have a reference i references to i reference that to my parent table so create table library dot members means that member id and then integer and then identity one by one means i mentioned this before so you get the point and then first name last name phone number address book id so here's the thing as you can see there's a book id so here's the, also there's another book id so let me first tell you this they don't have to be the same way same name they don't have to be the same name and you can you know uh, type different name it's okay no problem but i am going to type the same name because that way we get the point and we grasp the concept here so book id integer so i set it to foreign key foreign key and this book id in this table so if you if you type here let's say i don't know id and you need to make it id also why because this is my foreign key but i'm going to as i said leave it as default book id and copy this and paste here so references of course my parent table library dot books and after that the column name book id so it's done yes but just one thing left so on delete cascade on update cascade means that if you delete anything from the parent table so if you delete anything from the parent table and you just get got rid of the book id so that means that in this child table also all the rows that has been affected by by this column that has been deleted before also will be deleted as well or updated as well because you set it up to cascade and uh, and update also cascade on delete cascade on update cascade means exactly this if you delete any id if you delete any id from the parent table if any uh, book id uh, affects the columns or uh, uh, tables here in this table that means that it is gonna be affecting also the other uh, rows in the child table i'm gonna show you what i mean by that so let's in let's uh, create this and we created our child table and we are going to insert so as you can see there is no set identity insert library uh, dot members on why because i didn't insert my primary key on or i mean uh, with my hand because i want this uh, uh, to be done by microsoft sql server so that's why i haven't insert uh, i haven't typed my uh, uh, id numbers members id so you'll see what i mean so just insert this And then show all the columns and rows. Select from select asterisk from library dot members, and just execute this. 
and as you can see I have member ID and also book ID so let's delete uh, let's say delete one uh, one uh, book ID delete from library dot books where so I'm gonna show you all these things but don't worry I'm just trying to delete and you'll see what's the, what, what I mean where book ID equal to one and I'm going to get rid of these two tables so one before that let me also run the other uh, table library dot books and you can execute this at the same time these two table and see I have this uh, book ID here this is my parent table this is my child table so I have a relationship between those book ID one so once I get rid of this row also the Microsoft SQL server will delete this two column automatically and you'll see what I mean so let's just get rid of this delete this so I delete it so just run this and you'll see what's gonna happen see the other tables has uh, I mean has been gone so that's what I mean the other book ID also the other rows that has the book ID of one also has been has been deleted two rows because I deleted this parent this column uh, this row one and also uh, the other two rows have been deleted who had the book ID of one so that's why uh, on delete casket on update casket really important so why let's say one person uh, went to library and just want to book uh, just one book and he want to just get the uh, the just one book that doesn't exist in the library so or or the person who is who is in charge of library just type uh, a missing number and when once he type and he'll, he'll he will see an error why let me show you let's say you want to insert a book that doesn't exist in the in the uh, parent table and let's just insert this I'm gonna show you what I mean and insert this and let's value I'm going to copy this I'm going to explain to quickly so let's get rid of this and Rachel Green and let's just make it one so right now book ID one doesn't exist right in the parent table so I'm going to insert this into member so one person came here to get to uh, take a book uh, that has the ID number of one and execute this see you cannot have this why so what's the problem I didn't get it oh sorry I said it what's the problem uh, oh sorry values I missed that and see there is a problem you cannot insert a row uh, into library dot members table because the in the parent table the book ID one doesn't exist so that's why foreign key is really powerful and also on the list cascade on update cascade is really powerful because it can affect all the database at the same time so that's what I meant so I hope you get the point if you didn't understand anything you can make a comment below and I appreciate that and thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching my videos and if you get any confusion with what I explained please just make a comment and just ask question or or maybe you can make a comment about my tutorials and I, I like it and thank you so much I appreciate that and the finally let's show our two tables those are our tables and we inserted we deleted and we saw the effect of on cascade on delete cascade on update cascade and also the effect of foreign key and all these things and thank you so much for watching my, watching my video also I'm going to share this uh, codes in my github account and you can go to my github account and just fetch the data from there and you can make your table and make your database and create your database and thank you so much I appreciate that see you later take good care of yourself